that's pretty much my goal. Yeah, I don't want to hurt anyone, but uh, I do want to feed them until they're in pain a little bit. <laughs> Our chef Steve, uh, Steve Driver, he's been in the industry for quite a number of years. He's a, a very exquisite chef, very high end, I guess you'd say. I'm the cook. The cook. Cook or the chef? Well, people like to call me the chef, but I'm really the cook. He's also one of the instructors at the local community college here in Saskatchewan for commercial cooking. So he's uh, highly experienced and he takes a lot of passion into the job. Well, I've been cooking for about 35 years now and it's been Mo, um, hotels. I worked for 16 years in, in hotels. Love seeing the guests being blown away with being able to whip up some of the things that he does. When you think of northern Canada and, and fishing, you think of just fishing, but everything else here is great. The, the lodge and the cabins and the food and the service. All the food here, breakfast, lunch, dinner, is all uh, just like you would see in, in any finest restaurant. Everything is garnished. The desserts are all fresh every day, um, homemade breads. People always like to have fresh bread and you know, you'll even try to time it so that when they're coming around, that's when it's coming out of the oven. We want to make sure that it's like a, a special experience for them. A good quality steak and some good pork, uh, good red meats, uh, and we also use chicken, but we like to surprise people as well. So. We try to be as creative as we can. His food is second to none. I mean, everything's a little higher level than you used to. This was my fifth year. Uh, my third year at Tazin, and I worked at a couple other camps previously. Do you enjoy it? No, I love it. <laughs> I'm an avid fisherman as well, so I love coming up here and fly fishing for pike. It's one thing I love to do. I do it as often as I can. People always told me that the north is beautiful, and uh, I always wondered, trees, rocks, water, I get it, but you don't get it until you actually come here. And when you come and see it, just the moon shining across the water at 11.30 at night when you're out in the boat, it's unbelievable. There's, there's no place like this. The scenic level, the fishing, everything, uh, everything's perfect about this place.